and that I hate just giving away our services, which is true. I mean, what good are we if we're insolvent and the hospital closes its doors? Aha, here it is. Request for authorization of surgical procedure. You know, and that, that is what I really object to. The mind-numbing mountain of paper that we have to go through before they'll even let us do what we're trained to do. Okay, we'll just give them the one-two punch. I'll do the first opinion, you sign off the second. We'll fax it out to them and do the procedure in the morning. You know what I like about you, among other things? You're not a blowhard like me. You don't take positions, you just get the job done. Well, I really, really hate paperwork. How about tonight for our sailing date? I didn't know we had one. Come on, don't be coy. One thing I am not, Doctor, is coy. You're right. Difficult, maybe. Provocative. Irritated at the moment. I am trying to get this done. You're talking about moonlight sails. And I can't remember the damn diagnostic code. You know what it is? I'll look it up. Are we supposed to walk by each other all day and not say a word? No, we're behaving like good little soldiers, going through the motions. Is this where I look at you dotingly? Monica, in your life, you've never done anything like that. Dr. Creepy to X-ray. Dr. Creepy. Right. Um, sorry about that. It's just that I have been here since very early, and I feel like these walls are closing in on me. So, were you going to say something before I bit your head off? Not really. Not here, not now, but I will want to talk to you at some time in the near future. That is, if uh, Dorman can spare you. There are decisions that have to be made, and I'm going to make them. Well, that's just what I needed. Put a gun to my head. <laughs> here it is. Alan? Okay, I'm going to finish this up in my office. There are fewer distractions. Excuse me. <clears throat> I guess all those poor stiffs that I hacked up this morning are going to want me to pop in and tell them whether or not they're going to live. Hang on, hang on, hang on a minute. I want to know if you have time to work up a new patient. That is, if it won't cut into your golf game. Tennis. What do you got? I want to know if I'm a candidate for that laser surgery. Well, I'm going to need to schedule an EMG, uh, a nerve conduction study, and x-rays, of course. And if you could get your hands on the older x-rays from the time of the accident, I'd love to look at those, too. Haven't you forgotten the I told you so? Dr. Quartermain, I am an excellent surgeon. I believe in the power of surgery to save lives and to change lives for the better. But as long as I am able to kick and scream, nobody is going to cut me open. That means I understand your reservations. And as far as the I told you so's are concerned, there's nothing I like more than gloating. And I need a better excuse than you changing your mind. One more thing, Dorman. I don't want anybody else to know. And I mean anyone. Is that understood? Well, it's a tough place to keep secrets. X-ray techs, my nurses, physical medicine I staff. will tell whoever needs to know in my own time. All right. Well, why don't we go to my office and we'll uh, talk about some dates for these workups and, of course, discuss my fees because, as you know, my chief professional goal is to soak the rich. Now, if you were indigent, I'd just prescribe aspirin. See, I have even written a second opinion for you. I know that's presumptuous of me, so better read it over. Well, aren't you just the model of efficiency? Hey, then, you sign here and here. So did you convince him? Who? Your husband. Why do you always refer to him as your husband? He has a name, you know. Convince him of what? Uh, the surgery. What surgery? On his hand? Uh, look, I just thought it must have taken an awful lot of persuasion for you to get him to come to me. How dare you? Listen, Paris, I have known you to be arrogant and... Offensive sometimes, but not unprofessional. But Monica, you're his wife. You had no right 
You never discuss doctor-patient conversations, not even with a spouse. You're right. You're right. I, I'm sorry. I don't know what I was thinking, but why would he not want you to know? Because he's afraid the procedure wouldn't work. Or he's afraid it will work. And when he wants to take up surgery again, people will laugh at him. I will laugh right in his face. Would you? Oh. I uh, gather you won't be coming home for dinner. Um, probably not. Listen, uh, you caught me in a really lousy mood earlier. Did I? I didn't notice. 